All right, so in this video, uh, we're going to keep working with our template class definition. And I've got a sketch here where I'm just setting up one instance of that object in my variable called my eye. So my goal here is to be able to populate this canvas with as many instances of this object as I want. Um, and that usually means I'll need to use an array. Uh, so I'm gonna convert this variable that I have here just into an empty array. And rather than automatically uh, populate an array in setup, which, which is one option, um, I want this to be controlled by an event. So let's do a mouse pressed event. Uh, so anytime I push the mouse, I'd like to add a new eyeball instance to the canvas wherever the mouse is being clicked. Uh, so I want to take that my i variable, and I'll use that push method uh, to add a new eyeball instance uh, wherever the mouse x and the mouse y happens to be. Uh, and that should work quite nicely uh, because of the way that I've set up this constructor function. I can pass in an x and a y location and the new instance of the object should wind up right where I click the mouse. Uh, and so of course I'm getting an error. Uh, I think that has to do with the fact that I did not comment out this line. Yeah, so I should have pre-commented out some of these lines uh, because it looks like P5 is getting a little confused about whether that my i variable is an array or is it a single variable. Um, so I'll need to do a little bit more work here to get this to show up on screen, uh, but should be too hard. So basically what I want to happen in the draw block is to loop through every instance of that eyeball class that is stored in the my i array. Uh, so I can do that with a loop. So I'll say four, and then we'll set up an iterator variable. Start it at zero. Uh, I want this to loop as long as that iterator is less than the length of the my i array. So I'll use that dot length property. And then we'll increment that iterator by one every time the loop runs. And we can use that to access each element of that my i array. So I'm going to say my i, and then in square brackets, the letter i uh, for our increment variable. And then I'll call that look at function and tell it to look at the mouse x and the mouse y. Oops, and I've got an extra parenthesis there. Uh, so this little control structure is going to say, for however many elements are in that my i array, let's go through them, and for each one, let's call that look at method uh, and point our pupil towards the mouse x and mouse y. So now, anytime I click I'm getting a new object and all of them are pointing at the mouse wherever it happens to be on screen. Um, so at this point, you know, I'm noticing it's very uh, quick to fill up the screen. So I might want to do some tweaks to my constructor function where I'm setting the range of diameters uh, that the white and the pupil can be. Uh, and so a real easy fix is just simply uh, drop down the max of the white diameter Let's say maybe we want this to be 100 instead of 150. So that should give us a little bit more room. That's looking pretty good. And I can go ahead and get rid of these commented outlines. So 
So at this point, I've got pretty much all the behaviors that I want out of my eyeball uh, class template. And now I'm ready to just bring in a few other additional elements. Uh, and that will, I think, really push the creative aspect of this sketch. Um, you know, I, I love this interaction already. It's super weird and kind of creepy, uh, but also kind of funny. And so I want to notice that and I want to accentuate it. 